Right guys, I'm out for an overnight camp and I fished for wild brook trout and today I'm out with Goss Explorers and by Goss there and I'll catch you further up the trail And that's where we're heading guys, up through that pass up there. Uh, if you ever want to come out with me, it's maybe not a good idea because last three or four treks it's been cloud and rain. What are you up to? What are you up to? You getting wet? That's us just come out of the woods and up onto the hillside, we're going up through those crags, take us onto the wee locking. And if you recognise this location, Please don't mention it in the comments, there's only one or two places left in Scotland that have got these brook trout and non indigenous to here. Uh, but feel free to message me if you want to know more about them. made it. It's looking a wee bit choppy right enough. But we'll figure something out. Well, it's starting to get a wee bit hairy. So we need to get back down here and get the tents up. Well, the tents are up. I don't know what the wind noise is like here. It is absolutely gusting through here. Got the wireless mic on, so we'll see how it goes. We've got a land shan too there with an extra big rock on it, just in case it ends up in the locking. And Gus has got his Halliburg up. Amber's got her jacket on, but she's soaking already. And we've got a wee bit of a tarp shelter going on. So I'm just going to get down and have a wee cast with the fishing rod and see how it goes. See if this calms down a wee bit. Gus is already having a wee go with the rod there. It's just going to have a few casts. It is absolutely blown a hooli. Not perfect conditions for fishing. A wee bit dull and a wee bit overcast is good, but this is just a wee bit heavy. Well, Gus is just so tired to the tent. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. I've got an Irish stew on the fire and I'm going to retire to the tent as soon as I've had that. Take Amber in with me. Hey, I don't know what the light's like in here, but that's us up in the Scottish mountains and the rain's coming down, it's blowing a hilly. But nice and dry in here in the land too. A wee bit windy right enough. Amber snug as a bug here, with a wee sleeping jacket on, and I'm just going to climb into the sleeping bag, have a wee rum, and get up early and try and get a wee bit of fishing done. Why I would recommend the Lanshan 2 over the Lanshan 1 for one person. Now, obviously, the Lanshan 2 gives you the extra space. I've got Amber in here, that's a border terrier, she's sitting there quite happy. I've got my bag there, roots, bits and pieces, 
plenty of room to move about and the only downside I can see is you need two poles instead of one and it's about 300 grams heavier. Right, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and we are just going to saddle up. We woke up and it's still showery, rainy, cold, windy, amber's chittering and we're in a wee bit of low-lying bog. So I'm going to wrap this up here, put camera away and I will catch you on the next one.